Welcome to ARTV. I'm your host, Morgan Ray. On today's show, our special guest is Eamon Kake from Lebanon. He's a photographer that actually studied engineering, and he'll tell us more about this now. Welcome to the show, Eamon. Hi, thank you for having me. So 11 seems to be a special number for you. You came here in 2011. You also have 11 si siblings. siblings yeah. Yes. Can you so. share how, it, how you got here and a little bit about how cinematography came from engineering and all that whole mix? Yeah, well, coming from Lebanon, from a big family, it's not a common thing, but at the same time, it's like, uh, it's a common thing. Some one of them, he has to be engineering or like a doctor. Mm. So because I'm the only one who got into like a uni level, so their mom and dad, they decided to be like even in, like an engineer or a doctor. So engineering one. So I went and did diploma and then I gave my mom the certificate or whatever. And then I told her I'm going to do master in telecommunication engineering, but I lied to her. So I went and I did cinematography, but she found out during an interview with my friend that he mentioned my name. And then she told me, it was like, what are you studying? And I was just like, um, cinematography. And then she sent my paper to Australia to do, uh, like to continue master here as an engineering. But when I came here, I did uh, visual art, but I didn't tell her till like after four years. Wow. So yeah, but she accepted it. I think she was like more like a phrase that artist life not gonna support himself or whatever but i think after that she said i'm proud of you because oh. i sent her like a view master which is like the connection occurred between me and her because when i was a kid she used to give me a view master with landscape in it so i created a view master with like how i feel being the isolation and uh, being an artist, and I give it to her as well. Like one of these? Is that what this, you meant? This is the one, oh exactly, the one I sent. And you, cr I'm going to look through it, but oh my gosh, this is so cool. So you sent your mother one of these. Yeah. And that's what helped and this the is, journey. Yeah, and this is what she called me was like, I'm proud of you, and I miss you too so much. So, oh. yeah, so it's like a nostalgic code between me and my mom. Like, it's like repair her about what she gave me when I was a kid. This, wow, I'm like <laughs> getting ch chills right now. No, but I can understand her concern about being an artist and making it. Yeah. And, and um, like the piece that's right behind me is was in Off the Curb right here. Yeah. And and you ended up you were doing it for partially for a charity when in the exhibit yeah, I saw. Yeah. In the exhibit. And now there's only one print left. There's one print left, and it was like. And it's amazing because my print, sometimes I sell like different sizes, but this one was the biggest one and it's been sold. There's only one left and I was like, oh, it's like given one of your baby, there's one left of them. But the fun part was like when they purchase anything from me online, I go deliver it by myself because mm -hmm. I'd love to have if they connect with my art, I have to have connection with them at the same time it's like to see why and how and what's that meant to them. So, and during the lockdown, I had this campaign where people can buy, but if you cannot go to an exhibition, why can't the exhibition come to you? So me, the artist, well, I'll drive with all my prints and then go to their houses. The ring them was like, hey, I'm Eamon. And they told me, it's like, the artist was like, yeah, I'm in the front of your door now. <laughs> so I give them to the prints and give them like little gift. And they told me where they actually met me, how they didn't know about me. And some people, they're actually collecting my work. So that was like, oh, wow. Yeah, that's quite a strong point for you because how I was told about you is, well, two people, a dear friend of mine that is like, um, was very connected with you. And then one of our old former guests, Scotty. So was yeah. like, you need to, to meet <laughs> Eamon. So it's great to meet you. And I, I actually went up to someone else thinking it was you, but um, oh, okay. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> but you do, you, you have such a strong connection with people. And I love how on Instagram, you've posted different questions to people about their emotions. And um, the emotions are strong in your work. Can you speak more about that whole mes message that you're sharing? Yeah, uh, well, as you said, like coming from big family to go to a different country was like nine hours behind. It's like uh, it's taking a fish out of the water sometimes and need to breathe or like to go into a different place. But it's just the sense of isolation coming to a different country or like uh, hearing, working with people that are actually like refugees, especially like 
uh, my best friend and she's like a girl she came by 16 on the bird so to hear her without filters about the experience is that it's all like come into emotions to you and you need to do something about it hearing about like uh, coronavirus and the domestic violence in the house is like no one talk about it that the first stage of coronavirus actually domestic violence uh, the people who died because of it it's more than the actual COVID during the first time because okay we're in a lockdown but not in a lockup mm. that's the whole message I want to spread so there's lots of like things people they say it's got emotions that you cannot just hide you need to just let it out and i think that's what the artists create yeah and, and you you show it with a bit of hope you know you do yeah there's hope in everything and like i keep saying do not despair mm. so yeah yeah that's um well that just touched me for <laughs> um <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about this this video behind us? And um, you were even mentioning something that you would love to, to do with it. Yeah, um, well, this video behind me is actually uh, hit me during the explosion in Beirut. And it's just like the fears that who you're gonna call first to say in Lebanon, like, are you okay? If is it my family, is it like my auntie who lives like in Beirut or even like my friends because the explosion happened in an area where actually like I spend the whole time in it and create like memories with close friends. So calling them, they actually they say, are you okay from Lebanon to me? Because they know like when we're far away, we uh, got more fear than the people out there and safe at the same time. And I felt like uh, I'm not there, but I wish I'm there at the same time, like to help them, to help rebuild and everything. And this has created like a memory for me because I'm 1990s. So I've got the 1996 war, 2006 war, and it's all like rebuilt, like this memory of war. So that's why I've decided to create this. And I feel this is the only self portrait that sums up like where I came from mm. and the music play there is come, like I played it through like the music box as well so my idea is like if I want to do performance I wanted to have this projection behind me but me sitting live on the bed and play the music consistently well I so, certainly yeah. hope that comes to life because it's it's quite strong your visuals all of your the I mean these beautiful pieces behind you and the, the breadth of work that you've um, shared with me in the world. And you've actually won some awards and been nominated for a few more this year. Yeah, which is, yeah, it's always like overwhelming because 2017, 2018, this is where my even teachers that pushed me was like, you have to go into these competition, competitions and they send me emails. And for me, it was like a new word for me because I created this just to express myself. And then they told me that should be in the galleries. So this is where I started like putting in competitions and even I did like an interview with Samantha Everton and on the phone and she told me go into lots of competitions, make yourself seen. It doesn't matter if you win or anything, you just like go there mm -hmm. and do it. So this is what I start doing it. And I always like when I win some stuff, I got surprised. Even this one got me two wins and oh. 45 downstairs and Brunswick Street Gallery. Congratulations. So <laughs> it's good. It's, it's fun, especially like when I say to my mom and she feel like it's like telling her, see, I'm on the right track. I don't have to be an engineer to be successful. Mm, that's, so, yeah. I, I would say is, is that that's such a strong message to those wanting to start out or maybe consider going into the arts. Yeah, yeah. it's just like going to group exhibition. It doesn't have to be like as big or as small. It's like we all have to start from somewhere. And then like, I know like for me, I don't like to talk about my artwork or stuff. It's just like let it there and let my works just speak to himself. But sometimes you have to add your personal experience to it, like and talk about it and write first about it, like why you create it because it's about connections. It is, yeah. And you actually, right now, you're going to be working on some new work and some group shows, hopefully. Can 
Yeah, I'm not as like uh, I'm gonna hunt like for artists with like a different background from like paintings, photography, and sculpture, and because I love how I created my own open studio, that I I did like a, create my own show how I'm gonna make it if I want to do an exhibition. So I love the idea about create like a show. So I'm gonna hunt this artist and maybe we do a group exhibition. Awesome. So yeah, and. I'm gonna plan as well doing like a, a new series as, about like equality and stuff like that. Oh wow! Yeah. So if people want to follow you, they can find you at what Collingwood Yards and yeah, I ha I'm uh, one of the artists uh, in residency at Collingwood Yards, and uh, they can find me on my website as well. Wonderful. The oh, go ahead, say All it. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> www.imankake.com. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. No, well, thank you for having me. It was fun, actually. <laughs> <laughs>a good glimpse of that. I mean, I wish we could have shown what was in that viewfinder. Uh. Oh, I love that touch because um, he gave that to his mum to explain. That was cute. Because <laughs> <laughs> I love that he was such a rebel to do what he, he truly loved and yeah. it actually has been working out quite well for him. But also really purposeful and, and hopeful because um, my great-grandfather, oh no, my grandfather came from Lebanon. Really? Yeah, on my father's side. So uh, it's interesting to see, you know, uh, what he's been doing. I think we said 1993. I'm not sure the date, but still current and relative today. So oh, there's so much going on. I, I remember in, in college, um, there were some bombings that went off, and they, some of the the front, well, the classmates, they talked about what was going on yeah. because the news wasn't covering it, and it just was like. It blows me yeah. mind that that's still happening. It's full on, but it's great that someone brings it to our attention, but also delivers a bit of hope with the message too. So, yeah, a uh, great interview. Um, uh, what's been going on? Anything coming up? Well, Linden New Art just changed over their whole gallery space. So there's three new exhibitions, right. and they'll be rolling out different ways to meet the artist virtually. So anyone around the world can check out what's going on there. Beauty. I, and I have noticed that uh, Renew, I have opened up, there's a new co-op, I think, of some artists just in Fitzroy Street. So yeah. another shop opens up. More I saw vibrancy. that right next to Bunny, the barbecue place. That's it. Cinda Manon. I think yeah. so, yeah. I recognise the sculpture work. So uh, uh, I think she's out of gas works. But terrific. Another co-op's gotten involved. Um, and we've got more art and colour on the street. Just what we need. Yeah, it's great. Who have we got next week? We've got a, a photographer? Yes, another photographer, Bronwyn Kidd. Uh, she's an Australian artist and well photographer that known for her iconic portraits and fashion photography a wonderful woman of 30 years experience oh great can't wait mm -hmm. beauty well i'm not sure i think that could be about it for this show that's it if you'd like to get in touch with us send us an email at ideas at studioemedia.com.au see you later